Hello everyone, it's Kathy Champion and you're back in my uh, craft room and on my YouTube channel, Kathy's Random Acts of Stamping. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today is going to be the start of a project that I promised y'all probably about a month or so ago. Uh, if you remember, we were looking at this beautiful gingerbread and peppermint suite and this suite is extensive. Now it is $143.50 but you get a stamp set, two dies, an ephemera pack, envelopes and card bases, a beautiful large roll of ribbon. Look how big this ribbon is. Um, you get your little, um, your little gems that are different shapes and sizes. You get a six by six pack of craft card stock. You also get the um, stencils. These are the adorning design. They call them decorative mask but they're like stencils and I'll show you all that. Plus you get the gingerbread and peppermint um, designer series paper. Quite an extensive set. So I'm gonna move my catalog out of the way and I'm gonna bring everything over and show you just how beautiful this whole suite is. And it is a stack of stuff. Like I said, there's your ribbon and your little, um, your little, uh, these are acrylic shapes. They're beautiful. Um, little pieces of candy and, and little swirls and uh, little corner pieces and arrows and just all kinds of real cute little things that we're going to use. I think they're adorable. Now these do not have adhesive on them so we will need to use either glue dot or liquid glue. Not a problem. These are the adorning um, de decorative mask or stencils as we like to call them. And these are so pretty. Look at the snowflakes so pretty look at this one it looks like wrapping paper i could see how pretty this would be to use it put it down and do it in a couple of different colors and then we have this one basic that's just um just a little design but these are all so pretty those come with that suite and again here is our our six by six craft color card stock so nice this is a really nice heavy duty thick craft um, cardstock. So we get that and then here is our designer series paper also a six by six but it's massive. Look how much paper we get and you can use the dies to cut some of these uh, ornaments out and not only is it beautiful on one side you get four sheets of each design it's beautiful on the other side as well. So uh, if you have a, a pattern on one side, when you flip it over, you're going to have this pattern on the other side. So pretty. And the same with this. Look at this. Looks like icing. Um, if you remember back when we made Christmas cookies when you were a kid and you had the little drizzle icing and you would make it in the little, or it reminds me of the Hostess cupcakes. That's another, another um, thing. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. And then you got the white and red polka dots on that beautiful green. Look at that plaid. Oh my goodness. That reminds me of a pie. But then on the other side, you got these beautiful little Christmas tree cookies. These can be cut out as well. So with the dies, they're very, very versatile. And then we have this pattern. And look on the other side of this pattern. It is the um, peppermint. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Then we have our smaller um, pack, our smaller design, little um, ornaments and snowflakes and bells. Such a cute pack of paper. And then we have another plaid. This one is, this one right here warms my heart. I don't know why, but there's just something about that that feels Christmassy to me. And it's all white and uh, craft colored, but it still reminds me of Christmas. And then on the back side of that, you have the little candy pieces again. And then on this one, look how pretty this is. Is that not adorable? I love these big bells and the snowflakes. And then you get the two little candy pieces. This is all just in that paper pack. I mean, how pretty is that? And this is the other side. And then we have another one of the red ones. And then you got this beautiful stripe on the next page. And then we have, oh, that is beautiful. Look at those ornaments. Mm, so pretty. 
like I said, I really do love this paper. I'm going to try to thumb through it quickly. And then we have the stripe, white and green stripe, and more peppermints. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just a really, really pretty pack of paper. And, and as a reminder, the reason I'm going to show you everything today, um, if you decide you want to gather up some, uh, if you have this bundle and you want to work with it along with me, gather all your stuff and we will start this on Wednesday. We will actually come on Wednesday and we will work this out together. So today I just wanted to show you the, the items that we're going to be using. This is the ephemera pack. Look how extensive this is. And this ephemera pack is what made me think that I wanted to, um, I really, really wanted to make this uh, a, a Christmas uh, recipe album. So, and I have discovered a very wonderful way to make this and put this together, and I think you're going to love it. Now, these pieces right here, let me make sure that I'm getting, yeah, these pop out. These are... It feels like there's more than one sheet there, but I don't think so. Oh, they're stickers. You pull these off, and they they're already have adhesive on them. That's why they felt so thick. And you get two like that. You get um, two like this. And then you have these cards. These are just cards. You can use these for a couple of things. These would be great to put your recipes on the back. Such a fun thing. And you get quite a few of these. And then... Yeah, that's those. Then you get recipe cards. How stinking cute is that? And that's the backing for our ephemera. But here is all the recipe cards that we get in here. And aren't they beautiful? And of course, we can always make our own cookie recipe. Oh, I love this. It is just such a great bundle. And I mean, this just screams, absolutely screams, um, a Christmas cookie recipe book. So I'm going to put this all back in here. And these right here, do you know what these are? Cooling racks for our cookies. Who could ask for anything better than that? And I went ahead and put this in a, in a little stamp box so that I could keep it all together. Now here's our two sets of dies. We have the pretty pillow um, die. This makes a little pillow gift box. I don't know that we'll be using this. We might be using some of the pieces, but or maybe the labels, but I don't think we're going to be making the pillow box itself. These dies are gorgeous. Look at this. We have a border. We have some little round ornaments. These cut our peppermint pieces. And then look at the snowflake, the star, and the, two, the bell ornament, and the regular ornament. And not only can you cut out an ornament, you can detail it too, because there's two dies for each of these. So you get two dies for each one of these. And then you've got your peppermints. Look at the little twirlies. And you can fit those inside of these and cut your own colors however you like them. Love that, love that. These dies are so pretty. This will be a die set that you will come back to year after year. And here is our stamp set. Now this is a photopolymer stamp set, but you have your bell, your snowflake, so you can stamp these out in the color that you want them and then cut them out with that. Or you can cut them out using your uh, paper of your color and, and work them that way. But we have some sentiments. You're the icing to my gingerbread. Wish, wishing you a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Sending you peppermint kisses. I mean, really. And look at the other little fill, the filler. for Y'all know I love to do backgrounds with these little uh, pieces like that. And even the peppermint pieces. So pretty. So that's our stamp set. But we're not done yet. We also, in this um, suite, you get a pack of card bases and envelopes. Now, if I run short on recipe cards, I am thinking that these right here are going to be cut down because they're the same size and we can cut these down and make more recipe cards if we need them. We could use some of these for pockets. Just so many different clever things that we can do with this um, pack. So that's all of our pieces. Now, I'm going to tell you real quick, if you've got some chipboard, uh, remember me telling you that if you buy stamping up paper, especially any of our designer specialty paper, you always get these hard pieces of um, chipboard in the back. Save those. We are going to cut these down to make our front and back and our 
um, this is this is similar to what it's going to look like. This is what your book's going to look like. This one's not finished. I was just playing around, getting my measurements, trying to figure out how I was going to keep this from cracking. As you can see, I cracked here, but we're going to try some different um, uh, techniques and see if we can keep it from cracking. But we're going to make a book. It's going to be this size. So you're going to need um, two pieces of six by six chipboard, along with another piece that is going to measure uh, two inches by six inches. So two by six and two, one two by six and two um, six by six pieces of chipboard. So if you have some chipboard, go ahead and get your pieces cut. And when we come back uh, together Wednesday, now I'm doing a live tomorrow, so I will not do this tomorrow. I wanted to give you all a day to gather up all of your supplies. Now we're going to use um, liquid glue, we're going to use glue dots, and we're going to use um, stamp and seal. So and maybe even some uh, tear and tape, which is basically our two-sided tape. So get your favorite adhesives out. We might even use some stamp and seal which is, y'all know I love the plus, and that's the one I always go to. And of course, we'll use our liquid glue. And uh, we'll put this together, and I'll show y'all how to decide what color you want your uh, book to be before you get started. I'm really thinking with all of the craft that I want to do my book in red, so I'm probably gonna pull out a couple of pieces of real red cardstock, and that's gonna be the outside of my book. And then I'm going to coordinate with the craft, the white, um, the cinnamon cider, and a lot of the other different colors to make my uh, embellishments and things like that. This is going to be such a fun project. I know some of you have been biting at the bit waiting for me to uh, come forth with this. And I, I, I'm so sorry to have to admit this, but I was in a bit of a slump. And it took me a little bit to get out of it, but I'm back and I am ready to craft. So once we finish this album, we are going to go straight from this little Christmas uh, recipe book or cookie book. I think it'd be cute for Christmas cookies and candy because it is um, gingerbread, peppermint and gingerbread. So I think the candy recipes, I know I have my fudge recipe and I have so many different cookie recipes that I love to make during the fall. I mean during the Christmas season and it just isn't Christmas. All three of my children who are all grown now, they all want my fudge at Christmas. They love, they love mama's fudge. So um, I will definitely be making some fudge. Uh, I'm on a low carb diet so I don't know that I can eat it but I'm going to make it for them and just sit back and enjoy watching them um, enjoy it. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial to let y'all know what we're going to start Wednesday. I look forward to seeing everybody here um, tomorrow uh, at 12 o'clock noon and that's Eastern Daylight Time. We only have about another week about another week of daylight time and then we'll be switching over to our standard time and uh, it's going to get dark so early but at least the kids will get on the bus in the mornings and it will be daylight so that's a good thing all right I'm going to close for now I love you all very very much and until we craft again um, God bless and keep you and remember what I always say let everything that you do and say bring glory to our Father in Heaven he is so worthy so gather all your stuff and meet me back here um, our video will go up and tomorrow you can let me know if you'd rather me do this as a live video I don't know that I'll have a moderator but I'll try to go slow and kind of keep up with the um, with the comments and we can kind of craft as we go y'all leave me a comment under this video and let me know love you guys so much so until we craft again god bless and keep you bye bye